Let's say you've got a great picture and you need to fit it into a frame with a different shape or aspect ratio. You've got a few different options for doing this. Oftentimes, people choose to crop an image, but important detail near the edges is immediately lost. Scaling the dimensions of the image is an option too, but then all the image content is unnaturally warped. Here, we're going to talk about seam carving, an intelligent way to remove less important seam content. This process is commonly referred to as content-aware resizing. We're going to start with a picture of me looking out over the Red Sea. The goal here is to fit this picture into a square frame. So how do we decide what content is least important? We look at the overall energy of the image, which can be assessed using edge detection. Edge detection is done by convolving the image with these two kernels, one revealing the horizontal edges and the other revealing the vertical edges. The magnitude of these two edge detected images are combined, revealing the overall energy of the image. This procedure is known as the Sobel edge operator. In this energy image, brighter pixels indicate more energy, like the area beneath my feet. Conversely, darker pixels indicate less energy, as seen in the sky. We now need to define seams along regions of lowest energy. Starting at the edge of every row of the energy image, we choose three pixels to the right, one above, one adjacent to, and one below the current pixel in the seam. We define the seam as the pixel whose energy is the least, and color it here in red. We repeat this process until we reach the far edge of the image. We have then successfully identified one seam. Once all the seams are defined, we return to the image and remove the one whose total energy is the least. From here on out, this process is repeated until the image reaches the desired size. So now we're resizing the image to fit the frame, removing each seam from the image one at a time. You can watch this process, well, move mountains, and it looks okay so far, but the back of my head is starting to look quite planar. A bit unflattering, I'd say? Anyway, here we are with the final image, and it's not really looking so sharp there, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. For right now, let's look at another image. This scene of Legos helps to explain what's going on. If we look at the energy image, there are a lot of edges everywhere, from the figures to the textured pattern of the bricks, and this makes it difficult for the algorithm to remove the visually less important seams, so in this example, they're all important. If we begin seam carving, the blurrier areas of the image are removed first because their energies are less intense. But as we brick away at the repeating textures, the distortions render unpleasing results. The algorithm works better on this natural plant image. We have less expectations for a specific pattern or texture, so warping or distortion introduced by seam carving here is less distracting than it was before with the Legos. It's not 100% perfect, but it is definitely an improvement. So let's address some of these problems. First, it is best to uniformly scale the image so that the shortest dimension matches that of the desired output. Computationally, this saves time, and artistically, it is better to run seam carving in either the horizontal or vertical direction, but not both. In the case where seam carving began to flatten the back of my head, we would need to tell the computer not to remove seams from that area. We simply draw a boundary around the pixels we want to keep in the image, in the corresponding region of the energy function, this is recorded as high energy, so seams going through this region will also be high energy and likely will not be removed. With these problems now addressed, the image is processed once more. This result is significantly more pleasing as it is fit into the frame.